a nuclear power plant in New Jersey has been put on alert as waters around that facility have swelled as a result of Superstorm super storm Sandy. Now, that plant's around 100 kilometers south of New York. It was shut down for refueling last week, but nonetheless, radioactive material is still at the site, therefore, it could potentially prove dangerous. Let's talk to Professor Christopher Busby from the European uh, Committee on Radiation Risks to try and uh, gauge exactly what any potential dangers might be. You know, what danger is there then tonight, Professor, as you see it? Well, I think it's uh, quite a, an, an unlikely, it's, uh, in my opinion, quite unlikely that anything bad will happen. It's not like a tsunami. There's not some huge tidal wave coming at them. But, but, but the, possibility, the problem would be that the cooling system pumps become flooded, the electrical systems that back up the cooling system, so there won't be any cooling. And of course, you know, like in these situations with nuclear power stations, even though there might be a very remote risk of something happening, when it does happen, mm. it's pretty catastrophic. Well, of course, I mean, it brings, of course, it brings to mind Fukushima. This, this, this very same thing. I mean, are there any p better protection uh, measures in place to stop something happening here that, than happened in Fukushima, or not? Well, the problem is that with, with, with all nuclear power stations, you, you, can, you can never make them absolutely perfectly safe. You can make them as safe as you, as you, as you can get, but you can't, you can't um, make it impossible for these situations to occur. And when they do occur, especially in this one, which is 65 miles south of New York City, very, very high population density, um, it would be pretty catastrophic. Oyster Creek's America's oldest nuclear plant, isn't it? It was built, I gather, two years before Fukushima. Could age be a factor? Any potential danger here? Well, of course, of course. I mean, the older the nuclear power station, the, 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 less, uh, um, the less good the integrity of the various control systems and the, and the actual metallic components of the control systems, too, of course, are that much older. They're more corroded. They, 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 they can be brittle as a result of neutron effects. Um, so yes, of course, that's, that, that, that certainly is a factor. And in fact, New, uh, Oyster Creek, uh, like all of those power stations near New York City, were built against the express wishes of the people who lived there. They were pushed through by some kind of federal act, which, which, which overcame the opposition of people who lived there. Very well in mind what you've just said. It's not great news for people in New York, New York State, is it, uh, to, to, to sleep peacefully tonight. Officials say there are currently no protective actions taking place outside the nuclear facility. They say because there's no imminent threat from radiation. OK, but should precautions be taken anyway? I think it's more likely that there's nothing much they can do. Um, so, so it's no point in, in scaring people and trying to run around and do stuff. There isn't much they can do. All they have to do there is sit and keep their fingers crossed and hope that the flood waters don't go so high that they actually flood the control systems and the electricity which backs it all up. That's really the problem. So it's not really like Fukushima in the sense of the huge amounts of energy that were unleashed then. But it could be just kind of a slow flooding affair, which would be quite, which could be quite as nasty. Just really briefly, what is the worst case scenario there? Then, if this did happen, would it go up potentially, like, like Fukushima, or the fact that it's already closed down anyway, uh, uh, mitigate um, any uh, any bad things that would happen there? Well, you could still have a meltdown, of course. I, I mean, the the, the the fuel inside a shut down reactor is still extremely hot and has to be cooled. So if you don't cool it, then it gets very, very hot and can melt down. So yes, of course, you can still have some pretty cat catastrophic uh, problems. Well, keeping fingers crossed, of course, it will certainly never come to that. Uh, thank you for your thoughts anyway and giving us a briefing. Professor Christopher Busby from the European Committee on Radiation Risks. Appreciate okay. it.